call came in for uh, downtown, rolled up, and there's a male, probably 20 years of age, slumped over in the driver's seat behind the behind the wheel. There's a whole bunch of uh, narcotics that were in plain view in the center console. There was a little clear baggie with a bunch of pills and different items in it. Arrested the, the, the male for uh, possession of a controlled substance and brought him back to the car where he was chartered and warned. And then I went back to search the vehicle. I noticed that there was a bit of a chemical smell and also what I'm familiar with is like a masking agent. So it was very perfumey, but also with that chemical smell, I just started feeling a little lightheaded and dizzy at that time. I was feeling a little nauseous. And so for my safety and his, I asked him, you know, what drugs he was using. And that's when he told me that uh, he had been using fentanyl. I uh, notified my partner through our MDT and let her know that I wasn't feeling well. And then uh, one of the city members brought me to the hospital to uh, be evaluated. They did an EKG and my heart rate was elevated and blood pressure. And they also did uh, a urine test and all that. And there, there was trace opiates. And that was just from a 15 minute exposure in a vehicle and it not being pure fentanyl. The traffic stop is one of the most dangerous things that we'll ever do in our career because of the unknown. And now adding fentanyl to the mixture of, you know, you're, you're stopping a vehicle and you think it's drugs and you're looking at it and you go, oh, wow, that looks like cocaine or heroin. You, you just don't know anymore. We're well aware of the hazards of dealing with uh, fentanyl and fentanyl-laced drugs. Fentanyl is one of the most hazardous type of drugs to, to handle for any law enforcement members. Uh, it has very specific uh, hazards to it, it's skin permeable, uh, potentially fatal in very, very small dosages. So any, any amount of fentanyl has to be treated with a lot of respect and care when handling. Fentanyl is an extreme risk to, to police officers. Any amount in pure form or even in cut form uh, can be potentially lethal if not handled appropriately. Here are some tips when dealing with illicit drugs. Avoid opening bags or containers where there's unknown substances. If you suspect a substance may contain fentanyl, always wear personal protective equipment such as gloves, respiratory protection, and safety glasses. Double bag exhibits and use a hard sided container to secure items for transport in the trunk or furthest away from the occupants of the vehicle. Fentanyl is a very powerful opioid, 100 times more potent than morphine. Medically, it's a fast acting painkiller. In its illicit form, fentanyl is being mixed with street drugs like heroin and cocaine. It can come in powder, liquid, and tablet form, and may be produced to look like other drugs, such as OxyContin. Often, users are unaware they're even taking it. It can be absorbed through the skin or inhaled accidentally. For an adult, as little as two milligrams of fentanyl can kill. That's no more than the size of a few grains of salt. So we received a call for check well-being of a male. Um, he was sprawled out across the tabletop. So I walked in and had to wake him. I asked him what his name was, what's going on, are you okay? The typical type of questions. He stood up and he was compliant. Uh, he emptied his pockets very carefully, laid everything out on the table. Uh, one piece of paper that was folded up fell underneath the table pretty sure he made it fall underneath. I saw it. So I put my boot on it, dragged it over to me, leaned over, picked it up. And when I unfolded it, it unfolded and basically exploded white powder in my face. It was then that I felt the effects of whatever was in that paper immediately. So I felt dizzy. I felt nauseous. I couldn't stand up very well. I had to lean over. It was a feeling of helplessness too very unnerving for a police officer. I was able to get on the radio, ask for EHS code, and at that time they offered me the Narcan, and I asked them, well, what would I be able to do? Would I be able to go to work after? Yep, no problem. Sure, it's just precautionary. They gave it to me, they administered it, and I felt fine immediately. Symptoms of exposure are similar to those of other opioids and can include sleepiness, a slowed heartbeat, and trouble breathing. These symptoms can be reversed by the administration of naloxone, 
which many emergency medical services carry, because of the dramatic rise in these type of opioids and the risk they pose to the public and first responders, the RCMP is working to quickly roll out a treatment that all members can carry and developing new procedures on how to safely handle unknown substances. I don't handle drugs the same way. Very conscious, very, you know, put them in bags, seal them up. We don't measure them at our desk. We do it in a controlled environment because you never know what's in them anymore. That unsafe drug is out there and it takes a second for you to be exposed and another second for you to die. And we all want to go home at the end of the night. 